Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for St. John's, I'd probably still be milling around trying to figure out where I fit, how I fit. I do believe that St. John's St. John's turned out to be my salvation. Before I came to St. John's, I was pretty miserable. And uh, I didn't, my life was a wreck. Uh, I just, I was a wreck. I mean, and, uh, a friend of mine told me about, well, <laughs> a friend of mine, <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Had AIDS and um, he was not doing well. And at the time I was working <coughs> six twelves and six fourteens sometimes. But we did take Sundays off. So um, kept after me and after me to come <coughs> to St. John's with him. And he wasn't, he wasn't pushy with it or anything, you know, he, we'd start talking and he'd say, have you thought about coming to St. John's? And I'd say, yeah, I've thought about it, but not this time. Finally, I realized that if I was going to get him off my back about it, that I needed to go at least one time so that I could tell him I've been and I've done it. So, <laughs> I went that one time. That was back in... probably October of 94, I believe it was. So, uh, that was my aha moment. At the time, I was not a believer. I couldn't say that I came out the door a believer, but uh, I certainly came out the door curious. And, um, uh, you know, I was raised Southern Baptist, and uh, the only thing I had ever heard was that homosexuality was wrong. And I guess I walked into a place where it wasn't, and uh, that was refreshing. And so I decided I would keep going and see what it was all about. Just looking back, <laughs> my um, <clears throat> my memories <clears throat> kind of <clears throat> fall around service to the community, but the fun that we had, it was not it was not like you're working at it. It's not like it was something you had to do. It was just we it was we were just having fun. But in that in that having fun we were we were giving back. 